Hello guys, my name is Lotus again, and welcome back to Trails into Reverie. In the last video, we went through, we investigated the old, we investigated the old battlefield, ancient battlefield, whatever, same thing. Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Um, yeah, we invest, we pretty much went through the ancient battlefield, and yeah, and at the end we fought. Sal and Garcia and and the rest of their and their entire troops. Shut up, intro. And and we pretty much and after that we pretty much watched some uh, cutscenes and finished Act Two of Lloyd's. We pretty much finished Lloyd's route of Act Two. And since we finished Reen's and C's routes, well Rufus, but yeah. Since we finished uh, all three routes in Act Two, Act Two is officially over. So now, and this, so now this will be the first video for Act Three. So here we go. All right. So yeah, it's, these two are locked. So we're pretty much forced to go into into Rufus's route. So yeah, here we go. March 17th, midnight. This is like after they fled. You were quite punctual. You bet. There's Jingo. Sup, and welcome aboard the Argo, the vessel of Nine Valley's new high-speed transport service. Now, those of you who watched my, those of you who've uh, played, who played Cold Steel three and four, and watched the series, and those who've watched my videos for Cold Steel three. Um, you're definitely going to be familiar with Jingo. I mean, I'm not sure if you like her or not, but I like her. She's one of my favorites. She wasn't in Cold Steel 1 or 2, but she was in 3 and 4. I like her. Uh, our pilot is a child. <laughs> Dude, she just called you a child. She's called you a child. <laughs> For those who don't know what that reference was, it was from Beavis and Bud. We might have been better off on the ground. Yeah. I'll have you know that I'm a licensed pilot. And that's real rich coming from you guys. You look like a bunch of kids about to go on a picnic with their daddy to me. Ooh, we got burned. <laughs> yeah, you did. <sighs> But boy, did I not see your daddy's ID coming. Who knew my mystery client would turn out to be our former Governor General, Rufus Alborea? Oops. What, do you prefer Supreme Leader now? Either works. Excuse me, by the way. Please. If I knew I'd be repeating myself so soon, I would have gathered my audience. That title is not mine. But then... I'm confused. Who's Rufus? This guy. You're looking at him. That's this guy's real name. C was a nickname. So it's Rufus, huh? Hmm. I think it's much cuter than C. <laughs> I give it 85 points. Ooh, he kicked your butt, S. <laughs> Why would I care when I don't even get what criteria she's basing these on? Cuteness. That's what she's basing it on. So are you famous then, Rufus? Everyone seems to know who you are. He was actually uh, been around since Cold Steel 1, but I don't know if that was the first game or is he's been in games before the Cold Steel series. He's not just famous, he's super famous. He's the elder son of House Alborea, one of the four great houses of Erebonia, and he became Crossbell's first Governor General. Together with the Empire's Chancellor and Crown Prince, he led the country to all-out war. But then he got arrested after it ended. That's all the big common knowledge stuff. But trust me, 
I know all about the skeletons in his closet. Wow, you're so smart, Nadia. Is knowing part of handling the unpleasant side of things? Wow, you're so smart, Rufus. Can she try not to stir up trouble with him? <coughs> Shove, Swin. Yeah, well, he's apparently not done making a name for himself. Because three year, Three years. Because three days ago, he bust, he bust himself out of jail so he could lead a... So he could lead a load of black-clad soldiers into Crossfell and occupy it again. Then he declared himself the new supreme leader and claimed he was carrying on the late Chancellor Osborne's uh, uh, will. And you're saying that wasn't you? Yeah, hang on. You were in Crossfell yesterday and at noon today making statements. When did you have time to go to Hom Homdell? <laughs> when uh, when did you have time to go to Heimdall? He couldn't have. He couldn't have been at this. He couldn't have been at this crossbell like you said. He's been with us the entirety of today and yesterday. Then that means. So there are two Alpha. So there are two Rufus Alvarez, or more like, one of you's a fraud. So it seems. I've no interest in make. I've no interest in making a public show of, of him being one, mind you. So it seems I've no interest in making a public show of him being one, mind you. But I am the genuine Rufus Alberea. Oh, uh, what? On that, you have my word. I guess I believe you. Even if Crossbell mistakes the other guy for the real deal, you, uh, your brother to be be, uh, be able to tell the difference. Uses, yeah. Can't say I even care. I'm just in it for the Mira. Speak up. Speaking of, I thought the Arabonian government seized all your assets. How are you going to pay your fare? I've long kept my assets spread out in the event something like this. I've long kept my assets spread out in the event something like this were to happen. What the government seized is a mere fraction of what I own. You really do have... You really do prepare for anything, huh? Phew, I was worried we were duped into doing charity work for a sec. <laughs> well, we've come this far. I think it's about time you started filling in the blanks. About what exactly? You. We don't, uh, we don't plan to call things off just because we know who you are now. But, be, uh, but you've got to admit that you're not... Uh, but you've got to admit that you're not nor nor it. But you've got to admit that you've. Sorry, guys, I can't talk. But you've got to admit that you're not an average guy, and that means being around you is a huge risk on our part. I think you owe us a more thorough explanation on what you were up to before we met and what you're after now. It's the least you could do if we're going to keep working together. Very well. I'd intended to do as much from the very beginning anyway. You'll have to understand the full scale of our situation before we advance to the next stage. Rufus's tone remained flat as he recounted recent events. It began late at night on March 14th when Oryx Fort in the Croydon province fell under attack. This was the work of the Eben Devent. This was the work of the. This was the work of the Ebon Defense Force, who were there to aid the Crossbell Def who were there to aid the Crossbell Division of the Imperial Defense Force in their escape. Upon freeing the IDF from their underground cells, they continued on to another cell in that same fort, Rufus Alvarez. Yet their aim was not to free their former leader, but to assassinate him. Rufus de Rufus deftly turned the tables against them while also managing to extract a wealth of information, even if their knowledge lacked the finer details. He learned that they had abducted Prince Oliver and would be a and would be executing a major operation in less than 24 hours. He also learned of a small suitcase that the EDF uh, wished to find with great urgency. Sensing trouble brewing in the wake of Crossfell's liberation, Rufus then resolved to escape to better, ass to better assess the situation at hand. 
The next day, March fi the next day, March fifteenth, was no less eventful. An imposter using Rufus's name and face as his own stormed Crossbell's signing ceremony and declared it occupied once more. This information paired with intelligence gathered to suggest further uh, trouble brewing and Heimdall helped the real Rufus ascertain his, ne his next objective. Re he issued a statement claiming to be the prince's abductor to lure Class 7 to the Imperial Capital. And following that, he set his sights on Orox Canyon to take this uh, enigmatic case the EDF were so desperately seeking. You know the rest, of course. Wow. You've been a busy boy, huh? Well, I've been cooped up in a cell for half a year. I had plenty of pent-up energy uh, eager to be spent. To continue, it's clear that the actions of the EDF and my spurious self were planned to the letter. I imagine a multitude of events these past months have been part of their grand scheme, not just the recent attack on the city. The post-war occupation, the occupiers uh, electing... The occupiers electing to ignore my calls to surrender, and even the city's liberation a month ago. If this fake Rufus is pulling the strings here, uh, you being uh, you being around is only going to be one big he uh. If this fake Rufus is pulling the strings here, you being around is only going uh, only going only gonna be one big headache for him. You think it's gonna you think it's possible you being locked up in the same place as the IDF was intentional? I would assume so. Everything about it right down to my assassination attempt. And that in itself uh, was just a small part of something much greater. Then what are you planning to do about it? You sound like you're you sound like you've got a pretty good idea of what you're up t uh, of what you're up against. So what does so what does the real Rufus want? I have two goals. The first is to eliminate the poster who seeks to use my name for ill. Makes sense if it means that uh, them being around equals people trying to kill you. The second is to settle a past debt. Oh. Crossbell's current status uh, traces its origins to the war that ended not long ago. I the prime. I, the primary member of the Ironbloods, was one of two who led the charge in that war, the other being the very man whom I revered as a father, uh, uh, the late Chancellor. Having made this mess, it falls to me to clean it up. The Ironbloods are an awful loyal. The Ironbloods are an awful loyal bunch. I also feel a certain degree of responsibility toward Crossfell's its former Governor General. <clears throat> Let me see if I've got my head around this. In short, you want to rectify Crossbell's situation and fix whatever's going on in Erebonia. That sum it up right? That would be the end result, yes. You know that's a lot to expect four people to pull off. Thus why I never specified it being us to achieve that end result. There's no reason it has to be us who faces our enemies. Confronting evil and overcoming it with heart and willpower is best suited to heroes, not villains like myself. Like Green and his friends whom we fought earlier, <clears throat> and their SSS counterparts in Crossbell, no need to imitate what they have perfected. Works for me. Doesn't, doesn't feel like our style. What we can do what we can do is learn the truth behind these myriad occurrences in our own way. And we can start with the very valuable clue we ha we happen to have in our possession. Hmm? What is it? <laughs> Why are you staring at me? You're just so cute that we can't help ourselves. Will you stop teasing her? Really? I see. That makes perfect sense. To be admired is the destiny of a masterpiece. Gaze upon me to your heart's content. It's hard for me it's hard for me to picture a doll being the key to unraveling all that's going on. It's weird, yeah. And her not remembering anything makes it that much harder. Got any plans for tackling that one, boss? 
I just ha I just so happen to have a question for you too regarding uh, that very issue. Uh, J uh, Jorg, I think that's his name. Uh, Rosenberg was her manufacturer and the man who uh, who requested that she be delivered to me. Uh, that she be delivered to me. Well, technically, yeah. Now that our work in Heimdall is done, I was hoping to visit him in person. But your hesitant response tell, uh, tells me that may not be possible. Has something befallen him? Nope, he's fine. It's just, uh, it's just not much. Uh, it's just not much would be gained uh, by going to see him. He's not. Uh, he's the one who gave us the job, but he specified that he was just an intermediary. My guess is that whoever had, uh, whoever had him give us the jobs, also the one who got him to make her. Mainly because he didn't seem to know much more than we do right now. I see. That our only choice is to aid her in recovering her memories after all. I assume you don't know where you were originally crafted. I wish I did, but, I, but I'm afraid not. I've got a place we can start at least. Jorg. Yeah, that's how I'm going to save from now on. Well, until I figure out his real... Pro until I figure out how it's really pronounced... Uh, pronounced. Jork didn't uh, directly deliver the case to us. He said to pick it up from the Moon Temple. He must have hidden it there. He must have hidden it there before hightailing it out of Crossbell. It'd be uh, it'd be a safe bet to say she was made there or close to there. Almost uh, almost certainly the Ro almost certainly the Rosenberg studio on the mine on the. On the on the main mountain path, then. Sounds about right. We passed it on the way to the temple, but didn't go inside. A wise decision. If the Meister hid the case elsewhere, then the studio has been compromised in some manner. I'm sure. We still don't. We still do not know if her memory loss was unintended or deliberate. But danger or no, it's possible that we'll find something to ease her current uh, predicament. So we know where we're going then. Our, cur our course was always going to lead to Crossbell. The timing is apt. We may as well go now. But how are we going to get in when the borders are so well protected? Fear not, for I have a plan. Though it will require some preparation. I'll need your, par I'll need your participation in order for it to work, but the details can wait. For now, rest well, chil rest well children. Light in the dark. Rufus's route act three. I was getting I was getting so sleepy while we talked, but I feel wide awake now. Perhaps I'll tour the ship and see what everyone is up to. Jingo. Rufus one. Uh Okay. <laughs> and then Jingo Ellie's been has been completed. Wazi got his first page. Risha Mount oh, Risha got her first and second. And uh Kia got her uh, got her character page finished and Zeit has been added noise hmm Ilya got her first page and Jingo has been added though she only has one entry one page in her entry all right uh first thing we gotta do is talk to Swin. I'll oh, shut up, please. Talk to these two. She must have been tired. Hey, Lapis, is she asleep? Sure is. 
What's a uh, that's a shame. I wanted to play with her. Sorry to disappoint, but let her rest, okay? She always wants to sleep, so today's been a long rough uh she always wants to sleep, so today's been a long rough one for her. Does she normally sleep a lot? That's an understatement. She spends most of our days off out like a light. She's even fallen asleep in the middle of combat. Has she ever been a doctor to f Has she ever been a doctor to fix it? <laughs> I don't know. She's not sick. Wait, has she Wait, what? Has she ever been a doc Oh. Sorry, I read that wrong apparently. Has she ever been to a doctor to fix it? <laughs> has she ever been a doctor? I must I accidentally skipped a word. Oh no, she's not sick, just very laid back. It makes life a real pain sometimes though, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm sure it does. But she's my partner, and there's no one else I'd rather depend on when it comes. Uh, when it counts. Besides, I swore to protect her in her brother's place. I intend to honor that for the rest of my life. Are you and her brother different or the same? I'm, co I'm finding it hard to wrap my mind around the idea of siblings. Hmm, let me put it like this. How would it feel if Jorg Rosenberg were to make another doll exactly like you? If they were exactly like me, then they would be perfect. The world being blessed with more perfect things uh, to admire is a good thing. Well, what if that other doll wasn't as cute, pretty, strong, or, emo or emotive as you are? What if others called them a failure? Hmm, there isn't any such thing as a Rosenberg that's also a failure. But if by any, but if, but, but if by some chance that were to happen, I'd be very annoyed to hear others speaking of them that way. There you go then, that's how siblings are. Do you think Rufus would be annoyed if he heard something like that about his brother? That's who, uh, that's who that boy we saw, uh, before is, uh, right? Beats me. I don't know the first thing about what goes on in that guy's head. So it's a mystery? Yeah. Anyway, we should try and get some rest while we have the chance, assuming dolls need rest anyway. Okay, thank you, Swin. Well, we're done with that. Time to go upstairs. I wonder what it's like to have a sibling. Do I have any out there? Probably. Next, we talk to Jingo. Dude, this looks like a smaller version of the Courageous. Well, if it isn't my littlest customer, you want something? I just felt the urge to tour the, uh, the ship. I was about to say city. <laughs> and you're hardly big. <laughs> I'm still bigger than you. And come to think of it, I haven't introduced myself to you yet now, have I? The name's Jingo. If there's anything you want your hands on, you be you just better get uh, you just give me a holler. I'm Lapis. Nice to meet you, Lapis. By the way, you're not human, right? Indeed, I am not. I'm a proud Rosenberg doll. Really? <laughs> the world's full of mis the world's full of surprises. You don't look surprised to me. When you're in my line of work, you meet all kinds of folks. You're not the fir uh, you're not the first unusual customer I've had. I'm not. Your job sounds very interesting. You know what else would be interesting? Mods. Could I interest you in a Gatling gun for uh, for an arm or eyes that uh, that'll let you shoot lasers out of them? I'll give you a pretty discount. Y you could do all of that. It'd be worth a shot. Hmm. I agree that it would be interesting, but none of it sounds as beautiful as my current design, so I'll kindly pass. No big. If you change your mind, you know where I am. I certainly do. Anyway, it's about time for Cerberus's lessons. Cerberus! What's his, le what's his lesson about? Being the strongest guard dog around. I thought he was full-fledged. Well, now I've got to know. What does that take? So far, I've had him help with the cleaning and run my shops, but today, he's getting pointers on flying this baby. He's got to be able to navigate anything life throws at him, and that includes a steering wheel. 
Will he be able to do it? Okay, then first I need you to plop yourself on top of my seat. Wait, is this gonna work? I guess as long as your front paws can reach this, uh, can reach the wheel, it's all good. You could do the Cerberus. Good boy. Woof woof. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I actually said it. Hang on a minute. I wasn't going to butt in at first, but I can't keep my mouth shut after what I just heard. Oh yeah? What's that? Uh, maybe the whole deal of trying to teach a dog to fly this airship? Still not hearing what the- still not hearing what the problem is. How's he supposed to learn if he doesn't take the wheel? No, she's got a point there. <laughs> All of that is a problem. You're trying to make a dog transcend the limits of the canine species. Come on, now you're just exaggerating. But you're welcome to tune in on his lesson if you want. What part of what I said makes you think... Ugh, I just had... Ugh, I just had a dream where the whole airship fell out of the sky. Where are you, S? Comfort me! <laughs> anyway, we're paying for this flight, so if you want to attempt the impossible, do it on your own time. We'd like to live for the we'd like to live for the landing if you please. What? <laughs> the dog's confused. <laughs> ah, fine. You're one tough customer. <sighs> <coughs> Cerberus is so cute. I hope I can pet him later on. I'm sorry. What was that? You're trying to say that I'm adorable, aren't you? Well, of course I am. I'm a Rosenberg doll. But don't worry, you're adorable too. <laughs> What's up? You changed your mind about the about that body mod? Not exactly. I was just curious. How much could you upgrade? Uh, how much could you upgrade if I really asked you to? Can't say without getting my hands dirty. But I bet if you really wanted to, we could probably get all your parts swapped out. Guessing we'd have to call in a specialist, though, on account of how obviously, well, special you are. Oh, I see. Thanks, I guess. What brought this on anyway? Well, I was thinking earlier. If I exchanged my parts, uh, would I still be me afterwards? Don't be silly. It'd take a lot more than cha uh, than changing out some nuts and bolts for uh, for you to turn into someone different. But what if we took out a lot of parts? What if I asked you to replace everything, and there wasn't a single piece of me left from before? Could you still say that I'm the same person then? That I'm still Lapis Rosenberg? Hmm, you're asking some pretty big head scratchers, Dolly. You got the wrong gal for that kind of philo uh, philosophical conversation. Let me ask you this. At the end of the day, does it really matter? I don't know. That's what I want to figure out. Yeah. Now, where do I go? <laughs> okay. I uh, don't think it really matters, does it? The deck. The Oh, so I guess they both go to the deck. So yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter which way we go. <sighs> I'm afraid this side of the deck is occupied. You'll have to sleep elsewhere. Well, which side am I supposed to go? The other? I wasn't planning to sleep out here. Oh, then what's brought you outside? I wanted to go stargazing. What about you? I wanted to take in the night air. That's not a bad idea, actually. Since we're both here, there's something I'd like to ask. Yeah, after this, after these cutscenes are over, we'll be in Crossbell. Okay. What is it? I know that you're a famous man, but are you a good man or a bad man? <laughs> bad, though that would be putting it mildly. So very bad? Very, very bad. <laughs> I have used anything and everything to advance my interests, be it titles, fame, or even those pure of heart. There is little point in feigning a moral compass when human lives hold no value to me. Or acting chivalrous when all that does is hinder me. 
Do you still feel that way? I do. I'm using you, Swin and Nadia, to bring my designs to fruition, am I not? I'm also using those we met in the capital, like my brother. None of that sounds like something someone good would do, yes. You really are a very bad man. <laughs> I'm glad we could come to an understanding. So, armed with that knowledge, what do you intend to do? Am I supposed to do something? I suppose a doll has no reason to care if a human is good or evil. Being a doll uh, has nothing me. to do with it. But were you hoping I would admonish you? Or perhaps comfort you? Of course not. Okay. Then I still intend to do nothing. <laughs> if I praise you for your deeds as a hero, or chastise you for your misdeeds as a villain, it won't change you at your core. You are who you are. Just how does humanity look through your lens for you to think in such simple terms? <laughs> I don't know. I can't answer that when I'm still learning about what it means to be human. All I can say is, I don't see if you're good or bad, where you're from, or how you were raised. I don't see what you've done or haven't done, what you possess or what you lack. Because none of those are what make you exist as a person. So it can't be that you suddenly don't exist just because someone decides to reject those parts of you. That's a... Uh, quite a philosophical approach to the matter. Or perhaps that objective thinking is the most one of artificial intelligence can fathom. I don't know. How could I know? Just to me, being is what makes a human a human. Perhaps you're right. And so, it's what makes you, you. Oh, oh, excuse me. Perhaps you're right. I... Excuse me again. I don't remember the exact moment I began to search for meaning in my life. My father elected to raise me as his own son irrespective of the fact I was born because his wife laid with another man. Hmm. He did so with the same ease he rejected his flesh and blood because he was born from a common woman. When I learned the truth, I finally understood that House Alberea wanted me not as a human being, but as a product of noble blood. It was so hard to bear that it made me sick. Was that all? Was that the only reason I existed? I refused to accept it. Couldn't take it. And as I turned my eyes from this terrible truth, a new, more terrible thought dawned upon me. If that was not the reason I existed, then what was? That was when I met him. It is said we seek that which we do not have through him. I sought the father I never had. I convinced myself that if I did as sons do and became more than he ever was, then I would understand the real reason for my existence. And there it was. At last, I had a goal, something to pursue. I stopped at nothing to make that goal a reality. There was no effort too ambitious, no principle too sacred to violate. But no matter what I did, it still wasn't enough. Everything I had done to secure my victory had led to a resounding, humiliating defeat. A defeat at the hands of my own brother, who despite his unfortunate upbringing, had grown into someone strong and true. I envied him for that, but perhaps I should have known all along that a mere <laughs> product never hoped to have a real, genuine purpose. The whole predicament would have been worth a laugh had it not been so deeply painful. Why am I here? What is my reason for being? Who am I? You are who you are. I don't see what you've done or haven't done. What you possess, or what you lack? 
Because none of those are what make you exist as a person. Just to me, being is what makes a human a human. True. I like her approach. <laughs> Such nonsense. I thought you weren't planning to sleep out here. Well, she conked out. I'm unsure if dolls are capable of catching coals. Probably not. I believe you've taken in the stars enough for one night. All right. Now we're on our way to Crossbell. Actually, we're pretty much already there. March 19th. Are y'all prepared? Ready to go anytime. We're good at this stuff. I don't know what we're preparing for, but I'll give it my best. Our interests will be best served if you say nothing at all. <clears throat> okay, then I'm going to make my landing. <laughs> wow. Crossbell Airport. <laughs> yep. We're at the airport. Why are they landing there? Halt! Are you authorized to be here? Y Your Excellency! What do you mean? Uh, what is the meaning of this? You stand in the presence of our Supreme Leader. We informed you, uh, we informed you in advance of our arrival. Why were you not ready and waiting? Uh, our deepest apologies. There's no need to be quite so harsh. These are good men. This airport has only been under their jurisdiction for a few days. It takes time to adjust to new responsibilities. You are merciful, Your Excellency. We will, re we will ready a car for you at once. No need. I've arranged for one personally, so remain here and continue your duties. Yes, Your Excellency. <laughs> wow. What a bizarre experience. Not everyone gets to be their own imposter. It's hilarious. Good on you for thinking it up, boss. Well, I wasn't lying about them being good. It wasn't uh, it won't be long before they learn the truth from uh, from their uh, from their superiors and come after us. We shouldn't remain in the city any longer that is needed than is needed. Can't hurt to scope out the place first though, right? I suppose. We'll have to make it a brief tour we'll have to make it a brief tour before continuing on to the uh, to the main mountain path. Does part of scoping out mean inspecting all the restaurants? If we had time for that, yeah. <laughs> That's gonna have to wait till next time. Yeah, because we don't have time for that. I mean, we could do it if we had time on the side, but that's about it. W wait, why just Rufus? Oh right, I got, uh, oh, right, I got this stuff from Jingo. What is it? A farewell gift, apparently. Ooh, a custom rod and a custom sp Ooh, fishing rod! We can go fishing! And ten fishing bait. What, does she think we're off on a picnic or something? What's a picnic? Pretty much where you sit out in the open and eat. <laughs> You're too darn cute, LP. No point looking at uh, no point looking a gift horse in the mouth. Let's use it. Oh, we'll look we'll look like tourists or something. Good for camo. Indeed, I'll leave its use to our uh, to your discretion. Just try not to stand out too much. Got it. It might be nice to take a breather every once, every now and again. Rufus is now in stealth mode. Yeah, he's using his Ramda. Rufus will, Rufus will move about the city in stealth mode due to Ramda's uh, functionality. 
Note that when Ru new Note that when Rufus is Note that when Rufus is the party leader in town, he cannot be seen by others or use shops. So in order to use shops, we gotta So in order to use shops, we gotta swap to other people. That's doable. Obtained. Rufus with mask, Rufus shirt. Alright, Rufus 2. Well, we got Rufus' second page. Alright. Well, that's it for this video. If you liked it, hit the... Mm. If you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe, and, uh, and press the bell icon to be notified for future videos, and I'll see you all in the next video.